Welcome to pre-algebra. This video is kind of a roadmap to success for this class. And really the only thing that you need to concern yourself with is that you just need to come to class every day and give your best effort. If you give your best you every day, everything is going to be just fine. Um, up in the right hand corner is my contact information if anyone ever needs to get a hold of me. Uh, but we're going to gonna this video again is going to go over the basics of this class, mostly how it's graded, what we need to be doing. So first, you will be taking notes on videos like what you're watching now. You, these notes are worth 5% of your overall grade. Uh, and each video, you must take notes. Again, these notes are going to be graded. You're going to turn these in at the end of a chapter. So after you watch all the videos for an entire chapter, that's when you will turn in these notes. Uh, these notes you will use to help you on assignments that are called PQs or practice questions because you're going to see similar questions on these assignments that you saw in the video. So the steps that the video goes over, you're going to be kind of copying those steps or replaying those steps. So it is very important that we keep these notes handy so that we can reference them when needed. Um, again, you will turn these into Canvas. We, uh, they will also be in Canvas. Everything will be in Canvas that you need. We won't need to go to anything else. Uh, you can upload these notes into Notability if you'd like. Uh, or uh, we could try to get them into sketches if you like. Whatever it is that you like to use, whatever is comfortable for you, uh, I will help you do that. But notes are going to be 5% of your overall grade. The 10%, which you've heard me talk about, are PQs. Or they're, it's, PQs is short for practice questions. And that's 10% of your overall grade. So these are assignments. Think of them as homework assignments, but we're going to have all of class time to do these. So you can use your notes to help you if you get stuck on questions. Um, again, it's called practice questions. It's an assignment. It is only 10 questions long. Each PQ will only be 10 questions long um, at the max. Some will be a little bit shorter, but Think of it 10 questions long where the last couple questions are questions that we have already covered in class previously in the year. Um, in order to move on to the next assignment, we have to score an 80% or higher on these PQs because that is a percentage that I feel comfortable with, with you understanding the, concept, the topic enough to be able to move on. Uh, even if you don't score 100%, but let's say you score 90%, but you wanted 100%, you can retake these assignments as many times as you want, and I will always take your highest score. Uh, you can, like I said, use your notes to help you. Um, but again, we have to score an 80% or higher. If we don't score an 80%, we are going to correct the questions we missed, and then you get an, another attempt. Remember, you get unlimited attempts at these assignments. So notes, 5%. Our practice questions are 10%, and then 15% of our overall grade are going to be quizzes, which was not showing up, but the quizzes are 15% of your overall grade. So after one, sometimes two sections, you'll have a five or six question quiz that goes over the content that was on the PQ and in the video. So it's kind of a check to say, okay, I've done enough of these questions. I understand the concept. Let me try to do it with no help whatsoever. Can't use your notes, don't use, don't ask questions on these. This is a check to see if you can do it all by yourself. Uh, so this check then allows you to move on and you show that you have a great understanding of the concepts that were taught in the video and we'll teach those concepts in class. I reteach the concepts in class. We go over examples in class as well. Uh, and it's another one where we have to score at least an 80% to move on. Uh, you have unlimited attempts at these. Again, so if you do get an 80% and you wanted to get 100, you can take it again. If you did not get an 80%, again, we correct the questions we missed. We go back. We do it again. 
So we have notes, 5% of our grade. PQs are 10%. There it is. Quizzes are 15%. And then something called a self-assessment is 20%. Now, self-assessments, something that we will take twice a quarter. And these will have four skills uh, in them being graded. So classroom behavior will be one of them. Uh, turning your work in on time. These are called grade checks. Check once a quarter to make sure your assignments were turned in on time. Um, if you have one assignment that is late, it is not a big deal. You can still earn that grade check by making sure you have the assignments turned in by the end of the week. Uh, showing your work on assessments. Showing your work is very important. So if you are doing a very good job at showing your work, you're going to be great at these self-assessments. And then how much we pay attention to these videos, because these videos, like you know, will have questions embedded that are very similar to what I have just gone over. So half the class, notes, your practice questions, quizzes, self-assessment, the other 50% of your overall grade are assessments. So at the end of a chapter, at the end of a chapter in Canvas, you'll turn in your notes, you'll take a review, then there is an assessment. You gotta show your work on these assessments. Uh, it will be part of your self-assessment grade, but it won't be for a grade that you see in your grade book. So uh, it's an assessment at the end of the quarter. You show your work, you can't use your notes. Um, this is, you are proving to me that you have learned all the necessary material for that chapter, one big summative assessment follow-up. So at the end of the chapter, you take this, you take uh, the assessment. If you want to retake it, if you think you can get a better score, uh, anyone can retake an assessment no matter what their score is. Uh, There's some steps we have to go by, by we have to correct the questions we missed the first time around. Um, and then we have to do the same thing with the reviews. And then you'll get another chance. We'll, we'll schedule a, a time for you to take the assessment. It's not going to be the same day because we have to do some things to correct what we missed or uh, fill in some of those gaps that we have on, on some concepts. But we will, uh, we will do that together, and I will help you through that process. You just need to be upfront with me, email me, let me know, come up to me, tell me, hey, I want to retake this assessment. I think I can do better. Not a problem we can absolutely do that. So assessments, uh, summative assessment at the end of a chapter that goes over everything you learned in the chapter. So the class, 5% is your notes. 10% of your grade are your practice questions. 15% of your grade are quizzes. 20% are self-assessments. 50% is the end of the chapter assessment. Other class info that you uh, will need to know, you can move ahead in this class. If you want if you can do extra assignments, feel free to go ahead and move, move ahead. Uh, that is not an issue at all. If you are struggling to understand a concept, perfectly understandable, not a big deal. We'll spend time in class. I just need you to promise me that you are gonna speak up and say, hey, I'm struggling with this so that I can come over and help and we can schedule time during enrichment where you can come in and we can get all the help we need uh, for you to understand what's going on and to uh, tie up those uh, loose ends and get you uh, get you moving on with with the lessons. If you finish everything for an entire quarter, there is extra credit, something called nice to knows, uh, and these are big things. These were are a lot of algebra topics. So pre-algebra you kind of are hitting just the surface. Algebra, you get a little bit deeper. So a lot of these nice to knows are algebra concepts that will help you for next year. Um, and if you wanna take summer school algebra, whatever it is, a lot of these concepts are covered. So this is gonna be a good indication of you know, how, how well you want to take it or how much you wanna do with that. But these nice to knows are extra credit. So for each nice to know that you complete, each lesson, I will change your lowest practice question score to be 100%. And remember, PQs are worth 10% of your overall grade. Uh, and then here are 
all the things we go over, all the topics, concepts we go over in pre-algebra all the way until the end of the year. So these are all how we can be successful, what we can do in class to be successful in pre-algebra. Looking forward to a great year.